I want to show you now the ability that you have to generate scripts. Now this can be a great time saver if you're working in a test environment, if you want to duplicate parts of your database in another environment. Some people just became accustomed to using scripts years ago and they still use them and Microsoft has enhanced the ability to do automated scripting from inside the management studio and I want to show you a couple of examples. Probably the most basic is if I want to recreate this database, just an empty database schema or structure on another box, one thing I can do is generate my own script for this database. Notice if I want to recreate the Mark database, I can generate the T-SQL script that I need, or Transact SQL script if you will, that I need to create that database. If I right click on the database, you will notice in the little pop-up there, Script Database As. And so if I want to create the database, then I can choose to create to, or if I want to a script that will drop the database, I can do drop to. Well, I'm going to choose create to, and notice my choices. I can send it to the clipboard, to a file, or to a new query editor window. Now, if I send it to the new query editor window, it automatically opens a new query, and it drops the script. Now, notice what it did. It says that I'm going to use the master, and then go, and now notice create database mark on a primary. It set the file name, the location that I currently have the database. Notice it set the uh, automated file growth for me. Let me unpin this so we can see all this. Created a log file called mark underscore log just like I have in my database now. And then notice right here it executed a go statement and it created the database. Then it went back and did an alter database and began to set the various options that I have set on this database as it currently exists. So now all I have to do is save this. Notice I can come up here and do File, Save Query 6 As, and I can simply call this Create Mark DB, and I can save that anywhere I'd like to. For example, I can save it to my desktop and save it. And so now you'll notice that out here on my desktop, here's my Create Mark DB. Notice I can go out here and open this with Notepad if I would like and see my uh, script. Now I can easily cut and paste that into the studio on another box and recreate this database structure very easily just by executing the script. Now there's another thing that I can do with these and let me show you. I want to bring back my object explorer so I'll mouse over this. What if I go into sales and I go into the tables? Remember the parts table that I created. I can right click the parts table and script this table and notice I can script an insert statement for that table or I can script to create that table. Let's do a new query editor window and script a uh, create statement for that table. Take it just a second to write it up and notice here's my create table statement. So notice you can use this thing if you're not really up to speed on uh, Transact SQL you can use this to help teach you how to write it. So you see a create statement, a create table statement there. Now Let's go back to Object Explorer and I want to show you something that's really cool on the database itself. I'm going to go back to my database, right click, go to Properties, and I want to show you something that Microsoft put inside here. I will go to Options right now and you'll notice at the top of most of these windows inside the database properties you have a little script drop down up here. Anytime I change anything, I can script that action. Now this is really cool for documenting anything I've changed to the database. Let's say that I want to come in here and change my ANSI null defaults from false to true. So I'll simply set it to true. I've made the change. Now I can go up here and say script action to new query window. So I click this. It scripts it and I will say OK and I'll go look at the query window that it created and notice the action I just took, it created a script for it. Now this is a great way to document what I've done. And I can come up here to the top, put a couple of dashes in for a comment and say changed database option um, and put uh, you know today's date and who did it and so forth. Print this out, save it in a file, stick it in a file somewhere, do whatever. Great way to document what's happening, great way to see how to do this later on. So scripts are a powerful function that Microsoft has actually enhanced here and you can do a lot of things with them. So keep in mind they're out there. Stick them kind of in that administrative toolbox. 
Again, these things are fabulous for test environments uh, where you're taking production databases and you want to move the structure into a test environment to try out some sort of enhancement or to allow programmers to hack on it to try new functionalities with applications.